Yeah, speaking of our team, uh, it was a great team effort. Uh, the city attorney, uh, Mr. Hashi, raise your hand. So very difficult contracts to put together. Mr. Cheeseman putting together the logistics, working with Sam, Monty, working with the trail work to make this happen. Uh, Philip uh, doing the subdivisions so we could actually uh, use this land legally by subdividing it away from the wastewater treatment plant. Doug for being flexible and letting us be your neighbor. I always said we can either, we can either grow weeds here or grow solar panels because you don't want to build anything next to a wastewater treatment plant for obvious reasons. Um, and this is really a good use rather than trying to fight a weed war here for years to come. So I thought that was pretty great. Um, let me scan uh, uh, finance director. He, without him, we couldn't pay the bills. So thank you, Bob. And, and thank you, uh, Chief uh, Commander, for helping us getting here today. So that's our team. And everybody worked together really well. And it's really, really nice. So um, here's our elected leader. And I think she... she the city council had to finally say yes to all this stuff and we were moving at breakneck speed and at times we had to say trust me and and they did and and it happened today so mayor cutler this is really a very exciting moment on tuesday night we received the solar friendly community award we're one of, I believe, three cities in either Boulder County or the Front Range who's received this award. That's a pretty big honor, and this is just another step in helping us um, change our energy future. I want to thank, I want to give some thanks to the Energy Sustainability Committee, to the former mayor, Frank Phillips, for envisioning our need to focus on it, for Gary Klopak to to Gary Klopotke for having a vision and continuing to push us on along with Mayor Phillips and for um, and to the state of Colorado for finally allowing things like solar gardens. This will not only in, um, help build energy sustainability within the city itself, but it will also provide some opportunities for residents, low-income residents, to receive some benefits. And um, for that, I thank everybody here, and I say we should hear a few more people and raise some panels. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank you. for your trust. Next two up is uh, Craig and Frank. You can tag team. Right. It wouldn't be fair if Frank couldn't say, he, he, he dug in on this and dug in and dug in on this, and. Sometimes we're slow, but we're for sure, aren't we? Slow but steady. Thank you. Here you go. Frank Phillips, former mayor. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Again, if you don't know who I am, Frank Phillips, former mayor and now just citizen of Lafayette. This is not the end, but the continuance of a dream that we started in 2007. That's when the city really said, you know, we really want to get into this because it makes sense not only for the environment, but for the future of the city. And we were probably one of the early adopters, if you will, and kind of bumbled our way through initially. But as we got better at it and realized there's, there's some traction here, we moved as quickly as you could. And the results you can see all over the city, the solar panels on the rec center, on um, behind City Hall, on the police station. Um, the, uh, the efficiency programs we put into effect so that the city could save hundreds of thousands of dollars on our energy costs, uh, demonstration projects like the windmill in front of the library, the wind turbine. Again, we're not exactly in a wind alley, but, you know, keeps people thinking about these things. So this is, again, a dream come true, but just a continuance of where the city is going. One of the last things that I did as mayor was sign the application to apply for the one megawatt that we wound up with and I was actually very surprised we got that much and, and very happy to see that. I think we need to remember though that um, much of or pretty much all that we've done would not have been possible without the state mandated programs that provided subsidies for all of our efforts because um, one of the programs that I attended uh, was a, uh, a six-month program at NREL called uh, Energy Executives, where they taught us about all of renewable energy, the various types, and uh, where they were going with it, and how efficient they were. And to this day, um, renewable energy, at least on the solar side, is not quite cost competitive with the current energy we have now. It's getting there. What we saw in the labs showed us that 
within the next five, ten years, it will be there. But in the meantime, we need to use all these programs to continue building our renewable energy portfolio. And I have to give kudos to Excel, who every time it was thrown at them, you will now provide this much renewable energy. And oh no, that's not enough. You will now do this, has stepped up to the plate. And they have been a, a valuable partner in this whole process. And I want to thank them for that. I'd also like to thank Kurt Cheeseman, who started out as being very happy with just managing his rec center until we pulled him in and said, oh, guess what, Kurt, on part time, you're going to manage all these projects. And every time Gary and I would put our heads together, Kurt would flinch and go, uh-oh, here's another one coming. So I wanted to thank you very much, Kurt, to the Energy Sustainability Committee, kind of something close to my heart, which is something that, that I pushed to get started while I was on council. That's a great group of people and keeps our eye on the ball. So again, thank you all for coming, and I'm very happy to see this, and let's keep doing it. Thank you.